Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz and today we're going to talk about why production possibility curve is bow-shaped. So we know that production possibility curve shows you how much this economy can produce given the current technology and using all the resources. What is the maximum amount of goods and services this economy can produce? And you notice that production possibility curve is typically bow-shaped. It is not a straight line. And why is that? Really, the bottom line of the answer is because of increasing opportunity cost. And in this mini video, I'm going to show you where this increasing opportunity cost comes from. So suppose we have a mini economy where we have only three labors, the chef, and Iris, that's me, I'm an economist, and uh, I'm also a mom who knows how to cook, and also an engineer, and notice that engineer, because uh, he studied too much, he doesn't have a lot of hair left. So we have three labors, and in each labor hour, the chef can produce three pizzas or one robot. And Iris, that's me, I can produce two pizzas in one labor hour, so not as good as a chef, but because I'm a mom and a wife, so I also cook, so I'm not too bad. And uh, in that hour, I can either produce pizza or make two robots. So you can see I'm an economist, so I know math, so maybe I know a little bit about robots. And the engineer can produce either one pizza, so you know that he doesn't know how to cook very well, but he is a very good robot producer. In one labor hour, he can make three robots. So that's our mini economy, and we have two goods, pizza and robot. And we're going to start with point A. So in point A, everyone in this economy is making robots. So you can see that we have lots of robots. How many do we have? One plus two plus three. That gives us six. But then because everyone is producing robots, we have no pizza and everyone is starving. So that's not ideal. So we're going to send someone to make pizza. So we have some food to eat. So we have three labors. Which one do you send to make pizza? Well, obviously you want to send the chef because the chef is the best at making pizza. So we're going to send chef over to make pizza and because the chef is making pizza, he's not making robots anymore. So the number of robots is going to be reduced from six to five. But in return, we're going to have three pizza. So you can see we're moving from point A to point B. And now suppose at point B, we're still kind of hungry. We want more pizza. And you have two workers, they are still making robots. So we want to send one more worker to make pizza. So which one do you send? Do you want to send Iris or do you want to send engineer? Well, it's better to send Iris because when it comes to pizza, Iris is better than the engineer. So we're going to send Iris to make pizza. So we're going to move from point B to point C. So Iris is not making robots anymore. She's making more pizza. So the number of robots is going to be reduced from five to three. But then we're going to have more pizza. The number of pizza is going to be increased from three to five. And now suppose we still want to eat more pizza and we want more worker to make pizza and we have no one else to send except the engineer. And notice that engineer is a good robot maker. If you want to send him to make pizza, he will have to sacrifice a lot of robot. How many? Three. So we're losing three robot and we're gaining one pizza. So you can see the opportunity cost of one pizza is increasing. How is that? So from point A to point B, from the beginning, when we are sending the chef to make pizza, we got three more pizzas at the cost of one robot. So again, three pizzas at the cost of one robot. So what is the opportunity cost of one pizza? That will be a third of the robot. So that's kind of small. Why is that? Because we know the chef is really good at making pizza and he's not good at making robot. So the opportunity cost of one pizza is a very small number of robot. Why? Because the chef is not good at making robot at all anyways. Now, when we're moving from point B to point C, what is the opportunity cost of one pizza? So we can see that we gain two pizza at the cost of two robots. So 
the opportunity cost of one pizza is one robot. So you can see opportunity cost is increasing from a third to one. In the end, at point C, if you still want to make more pizza, you will have to send the engineer. Now the engineer is very good at making robots. So the engineer will increase the number of pizza at the cost of three robots. So at this point, your opportunity cost of a pizza becomes three robots. So you can see the opportunity cost is increasing from a third robot to one robot to three robots. So when you're increasing the number of pizza, the opportunity cost of pizza is also increasing. So now you know why the opportunity cost is increasing and why the production possibility curve is bow shaped. The reason is that laborers have different talents and different abilities. And therefore, in this economy, if you want to increase the amount of one good, the opportunity cost in terms of the other good is going to be increasing. Thanks for watching and good luck with your studying.